All right, so let's talk about multiple offers. Multiple offers are uh, very important in our market just because now we're getting so many so many properties that are selling so quickly, so many buyers out there, and it's important to understand how to stand out in a multiple offer situation. Now, in this particular case, we had, I don't know, probably five to 10 offers, somewhere around there where we beat out and we got the, got the, got the property, got the property. <laughs> So when it comes with listings, listings and purchases are two separate ordeals. Like there's a separate skill for listing a property for a homeowner and then trying to sell it. And then there's a separate skill for helping a buyer get their offer accepted and purchasing a property. But there is a certain bit of art and technique and experience that you can provide with each situation so that you can get maximum results. The inspector is underneath the house right now and he's testing for leaks. So if you hear a knock four times, you gotta flush the toilet and gotta turn off the water. So that's what I'm waiting for right now. Alright, there it is. Alright, my work is done. A lot of work has been done? Yeah, a lot of work has been done. That is very good. So we tend to actually represent more sellers than buyers. The nice thing is that I understand what a listing agent is looking for when an offer is presented. And that plays a huge role in determining which offer to go with because really the agent on the other side, you're relying on them to do half of the work. And if they're not, you know, as good as they could be, then it makes the transaction very difficult. And no matter how good the price is, sometimes that could be a determining factor and really could be the tiebreaker as well. The tiebreakers are always, always when submitting an offer on a property it's important to one have a great communication with a listing agent talk to them try and find out as much information about the property as possible but that first communication that dialogue is so important right because that's your first impression especially if they've never met you before the next thing is also writing a good offer right there's there's no way around that if you write a crappy offer, no matter how good your communication is, it, you still have to rely on the offer itself. So writing a great offer is important. And the way that you write good offers is getting the communication right. You go back to the agent and say, hey, what's important to the seller? What's important? What's it, what's it going to take for us to get this deal done? Those are important questions to ask a listing agent because they'll tell you. And that's important, right? Because they know what the buyer or what the seller is looking for. <laughs> And the next important thing is writing a well-written offer. Now, it could be that you ask for certain things and you may want to communicate that kind of stuff and figure out that all ahead of time. But if you write a sloppy offer, there's boxes not checked and you meant to do this and it says this and you that just complicates everything. So writing a well-written offer, really, really important. A lot of the property has been upgraded, which is really good. And uh, we're going to take a look and see what the condition's like.